Mortar. Anyway, welcome everyone to game number two between Naked Men 321 and Rain Bay. We are on Decentring, home map of Rain Bay. And uh, for Rain Bay, we will have Sora here in the yellow as the Indians on uh, what would be ignoring donos. No. But that's like the uh, the official thing. Yeah, it's the around. Like, there is more in drone nations, but I haven't uh, tabulated that in yet, and it's not that much. It's like maybe another $10 or so. Don't know what that means. Anyway, do you have the Indian fishing bonus to work with here, which is nice? Uh, then we have Ukoke, who is going to be over here on the land as Byzantines, next to Rory as the purple Tadars. Very shady business. And finally, Demon Sheep will be the orange Ethiopians here to the northeast. So, two on the water. So essentially the two flanks are staying uh, with their town centers in the middle, and the two pockets are going to be going onto the land. Uh, that's at least rain-based. Strategery. Meanwhile, we have Slack Tarn here in the gray as the Incas going to the land. Hart as the green Berbers staying on the water. Leary as the red Khmer staying on the water. And Hera, who the hell is this guy? What the... Who is this player? Who would have thunk? Yeah, seriously, we won't spawn tent. But uh, he'll be the Blue Mayans on the west. So you can see that we have perfectly inverted strategies here from Rain Bay and Naked Men. Rain Bay with the two uh, outside players flank players going for the middle, and then the two pockets going for the land, and then the exact opposite for naked men, with the two uh, flanks going for the land, and the two pockets going for the water. Seems good, man. Anyway, the villager counts might look a little alarming for some people, but remember that everybody who's gone to the, uh, the outside has a lower villager count. It's just kind of how that works. Takes longer to get your TC up. Oh, thanks, Krillin. We're, we're working on it. You know, we're trying. Hosting OBNC has been pretty helpful in that regard. Anyway, um, Civs, Byzantines, Tatars, Ethiopians, Indians. Um... Good mix of civs. Yeah, lots of different, uh, lots of different options. You have great naval civ in Byzantines. And everyone else is at least semi sort of okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Trash tier username. It's it's very sad that uh, Spondent, despite his amazing efforts in game number one, was replaced. But yeah, decent civs here for Rain Bay. Meanwhile, Berbers, Khmer, Mayans, Incas. So two American civs. Tatars actually don't have a half bad navy. Um, but the the two American civs are right on the outside, and they can totally make some aggression happen. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And then Khmer and Berbers? Sounds good, honestly. I think both teams have pretty good civs. Really aren't any uh, duds of civs. But again, I think that just goes to show uh, civ balance in general. Good stuff all around. Anyway, we do have at least something of a mirror in that we have two players on the outside and two players on the inside for each team. And that's totally not what we've seen. We've seen anything from four players on the inside to three players on the outside. Is this real AM? No, it's fake AM. I know, I know, breakfast.
<laughs> Not on Bedouins. Yeah, zero, zero skill right there. Spontan is just Slaktarn's brother. L literally, uh... Very, uh... Very much just a, a random guy. Just because Hera woke up late and missed game number one, so they subbed in Slaktarn's brother. Anyway, players cl clicking on up to Feudal Age. To get ahead in AoE, pretty much. So, I think the question becomes, who is going to be going for fast castles? Who's going to be going just for full water aggression? For instance, I'd love to see from heart to go f full galleys right away. Because Berber galleys, especially on a map where there's tons of room to sail around in, like uh, on Decentering. Like, Berber galleys can just be a nightmare to deal with. I should know. Dench wrecked me with them. Never forget zero kills to 27 deaths against Dench in a tournament game, man. Yeah, Dench is drunk. Yeah, it's just, you can't catch up to Berber galleys, man. Your fire galleys are just like, you know, the fat kid trying to catch up to everyone else on the track. Yeah, Sanity Me. Uh, it's... Naked Men is mostly AM, but they're also playing with Slack Tarn. So it's not really AM. Like, Nikov's playing on another team. MBL's not playing at all. Um, yeah. It's just a joke. Well, MBL did technically play, yeah. But he was a sub. Hey, he was the fat kid? I wasn't the fat kid, but I was slow as hell, man. I am not a, I am not a speedy guy. I have long arms, though, so uh, I did all right in basketball. Oh yeah, who could forget the castle wall? Because they are slow. All right, I, I was the the Teuton of the uh, the gym class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is it is the real heart, Hera and Leary for sure. Be more suitable on the mainland. Oh yeah, I forgot. So sorry if I forget questions sometimes. Um, well. I think it's just a matter of the positions. I think it's relatively you'd want Mayans and Incas on land even more. Okay. FC fires? Uh, that's what it seems like. Ukoke, yeah, totally has the resources to do that. Meanwhile, you can see that Leary and Hart are both going for the uh, water aggression, staying in Feudal Age. And indeed, we have Hart going with the galley approach. I just love this from Berbers, guys. Rain Bay's team walls? Oh, look at this. Oh, what are you doing? Don't don't just go to the town center. Town centers do like no damage to fire galleys. Look how sad this damage is. You're just letting all your ships get killed. Heart! Heart! Oh, and the huge demo ship hit! Oh man, no, this isn't how this isn't how you do it. Town centers get like no bonus damage against ships, man.
Anyway, people are making their way on up to Castle Age. Hera's going to be there in just a second. He is mining a bunch of stone. I don't know why he's going for a trash unit like the Plumed Archer, but, you know, we all have our own little idiosyncrasies. Oof, that was a big demo ship hit indeed. We're going to sail back a little bit, but he's got tons of reinforcements coming in. He should be A-OK. -okay. Meanwhile, Demon Sheep seems to be doing alright himself. I mean, yes, there is fletching in here for heart, so... It, uh, freaking Berber galleys are so annoying, man. It's it's like they're the Barbary pirates. Just sailing in and out, darting in everywhere, doing some damage. University here. Is Ukoke going fast imp? Oh, Ukoke is going fast imp, guys. Yeah, that's the, that's the point, Rob. <laughs> well... Fast Imp here for Ukoke. What is she going to do with it? Is she just going to go Fast Imp, Fast Fire Ships? Everything with the word fast? Leary's got a demo raft here. Hera here with the Fire Galley as well. Hmm... It's going to be tough, though. The fast fire ship should completely take control of water. Uh, what's Slack turn up to? He's just chilling, it seems. Just doing his thing. Getting the third TC up. Demon sheep going on to the land as well. Oh! Rory, what are you doing? I got a battering ram and three knights. Everyone else takes fights. Well, the Americans are a campaign civ in AoE 3. That's something. Um, Ukuke is almost to Imperial. She can need War Galley so we can get fast fire ship. There we go. That's on the way. But yeah, Rory's over here with these knights. Gonna be definitely pretty annoying. There really isn't a whole lot to deal with that. Just a, uh... Random Monastery. Age of Empires 4! Literally the game Age of Empires 4 with the subscription Twitch Prime! Thank you so much. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. Enjoy the beauty, glory, and majesty of Ornlu, a wolf, and friends. Anyway, Ukoke and Imperial getting Galleon! No! You're hitting the wrong button! You don't get galley and you get fast fire ship. You're making fire shifts. Oh, that's a little awkward. Anyway, Hera's just now actually going for a castle. He's been mining stone for a while. I'm not too sure why he hasn't been making uh, much of a castle yet. Oh, there's a nice conversion. Ako Taco? Indeed. My mistake. Is it... Wait, who's getting careening? Someone was getting careening. Oh, Koke already got careening. Get fast fire ship, girl! Castle Age is now in for heart, but he's going to be running right into these Byzantine fire ships. Uh-oh. Thankfully, with the power of Berbers, he can dart away. Oh, hello! Over here, Leary's going to get raided very heavily by our purple player, Rory. How did he even get here, man? Guess he's just been sailing around the edges. But yeah, that's a lot of dead villagers there. I 
Okay, now fast fire ship is in. That is pretty scary. War galleys don't deal with fast fire ships. Not with careening. They're only dealing, I think, one damage at that point. Uh-oh. The fast imp is totally paying off right now. And yeah, there's the uh, the score flip in favor of Rain Bay. And of course, now that uh, Ukoke is an Imperial Age, she can just sling whoever she wants. Sora with the castle here at the front, just trying to get his eco up and running again, it seems. Isn't that Lithuanian's Nerfox? Uh, Demon Chief has a decent amount of fire ships himself. And right now, it just seems like uh, Naked Men are scrambling. I mean, this is the home map of Rain Bay, but they definitely seem to be knowing... They seem to know what they be doing. Yeah, now Sora's actually clicking up to Imperial Chief. Oh, are you kidding me? Are, are you elephant archers? There you go, Ellie Archer. What's Harry even doing, though? He's just been chilling all game long. He's making a trade cart. That that's his uh his grand answer. Okay, he has some plumed archers, but I mean, Rory's been doing way more with these knights. Ukoke has twenty six kills to six deaths. No, in fact, uh, elephant archers are fantastic against plumed archers. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to be looking at two players in Imp for Team Rain Bay. Slaktarn going to be going for some eagle warriors here. But we're going to be needing to see somebody click to Imp soon. Hera's not too far away from Imp. Neither is Slaktarn. Heart's a bajillion miles away. He's been raided a lot. Same with Leary. Get Greek fire? Uh, I don't think Ukoke has a castle yet. No, Ukoke has not been mining any stone. She's just now switching over into regular galleons to help better bombard the shoreline. <laughs> Look at these elephant archers, man. Okay, now Slaktarn's clicked up to Imperial Age. We'll be the first player on Naked Men to do so. And Hera not too far behind as well. But right now, uh, Naked Men don't have any control of water. And that's going to make things a little bit tricky. Demon Chief's going to have a castle over here. Oh, that's a lot of Eagle Warriors coming in, though. Uh-oh. Where's the army here? Two castles coming down simultaneously from Rain Bay, but uh, they don't have an army here really to deal with the Eagle Warriors. Gonna need to rely on the power of quick walls. Uh, Light Cab gonna uh, snipe some monks. That's gonna be quite nice. And the Eagle Warriors are forestalled for the time being. And of course, I mean, you have Ukoke who's just completely annihilating everything from the, si uh, the shoreline. Oh man, look at this, guys. It's Ellie Archer time! Oh my god. Hera's not an Imperial Age yet. <laughs> Hera with Mayans is losing to Herg, like a 1900 to 2k DE Taiwanese player. In the power of elephant archers. What are you going to do when the Ellie Archers come for you? Okay, Slaktarn is an Imperial Age. He's definitely a better positioned than most anyone else on his team. And nobody between Rory and Demon Sheep are an Imperial Age themselves. 
So there's not going to be anything to deal with the trebuchet potential here from Slacktarn. Against Elephant Archers, you go for um, Eagle Warriors. Eagle Warriors are uh, plenty good. Oh, poor, poor uh, Leary, man. Just getting bombarded by these Galleons. And the thing with trade on this map is you can get trade that's not within distance of the shoreline, but it is pretty hard. <laughs> the doom push of elephant archers! And the thing is, like, if the elephant archers themselves aren't dying, they're just going to have such great retention. Like, it's easy to just build up the Elephant Archer numbers, uh, you know, slowly and steadily over time. This is the, the last hope, though, for Naked Men, is they have this uh, nice push underway here from Slacktarn. He's Imperial Age, he's got some Pikemen, some Eagle Warriors, some Trebs. Uh, you are up against Ethiopians, so you do have to worry about Shotel Warriors. Will the Beast with the Year! I'm glad you think it's well spent, but uh, thank you so much for the one year, Wildebeest. Congrats on that Ornlu badge right there. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's OBNC always amazing, because it's OBNC, man. Spontent would never die to Ellie Archers, indeed. Hera's getting El Dorado, though. He's getting his Elite Eagle Warrior Switch ready, and that honestly is going to be really strong against Elephant Archers. Very chill tournament. Well, that's the idea. Oh, thanks, Ellie Archer. It's been a lot of fun. Well, other players are reaching Imperial Age. Rory is there himself. Just leaves Demon Sheep, Heart, and Leary in Castle Age. Needs Cannon Galleon? Cannon Galleons would certainly be quite nice. But yeah, these trade cards keep on getting wrecked right now. But still, Hera is just, you know, he's been chilling this whole game long. He's had 135 villagers, gonna be getting to almost fully upgraded Elite Eagle Warrior soon. There are some Step Lancers here from our purple player. But the Step Lancers aren't going to be amazing against the Eagle Warriors, and the Elephant Archers don't have amazing upgrades either. Oh no, like, okay, definitely nowhere near Cataphracts. She went for Fast Imp, so she's only just getting her eco up and running now. Uh-oh, it's time to unleash the Eagles. Let's see, let's see how well the Elephant Archers do. Okay, so it looks like three volleys with all of them. That's not ideal. Still, though, any sort of meat units with the Cavaliers and the Step Lancers. And Hera doesn't seem to have enough. I mean, Elephant Archers have 280 HP, right? Uh, with the Cavaliers, I think it's just enough here for rain. Uh, the Eagle Warriors are really good. That's also true. Um... Um... Um I don't yeah, they're elite eagle warriors and they have Eldorado. <laughs> that was such a weird fight. But it looks like Hera with the the better eco is able to mask that. I mean Sora's only on uh you know, just a few Ellie Archers, and only on 74 Villagers. No, they're not elite. Anyway, right now, Naked Men taking the score lead again. Don't know what that guy's doing. But yeah, I think that fight did switch things uh, around in uh, 180. Slacktarn and 
Hera with some fantastic pushes of their own. Oh boy. Some cat is coming in here for Ukoke. But it's going to be really hard to stop at this point. Shotel is obviously going to be great against Eagle Warriors, but I feel like things might be a little too far gone. Well, remember, Yellow was really far behind economically. But, like, once you get all those Elephant Archers killed, it's so hard to ever get the, their numbers up to snuff again. Still, though, more Cataphracts are on the way. No Elite Upgrade just yet. Black turn now getting fabric shields. Double elite eagle, indeed it was. Eh, probably could have controlled them a bit better, yeah. But now we have Hal plus elite eagle warrior. Those Ellie Archers need to get out of there, man. They can't fight that many Eagle Warriors. They don't got the upgrades. Or the numbers. Shitagni is in? Yes, it is. Oh, more Cataphracts here, but they still are missing some critical upgrades, but they're also Cataphracts. You can't forget the bit where they are cataphracts. Oh, uh, but the numbers I don't quite think are there. Shotel's trying to come in as well. Oh, this is like this is on such a razor's edge right now. Looks like all the elephant archers were cleaned up, but more and more cavaliers on the way here for Rory. Um. Yeah, that's plenty of Cavaliers for the amount of Eagle Warriors. Wait, is Leary going Ballista Ellie's? He's at 145 villagers now. He's had plenty of time to boom up. And now their trade is running quite uh, steadily. No trade at all yet for Rain Bay. Okay, no, it's just starting right now. More Eagles flooding in here from Slack Turn. The Cata numbers aren't looking too, too stellar. Still, though, Slack Tarn a little hesitant. I don't think either player can afford to fight underneath castles, but... Oh, that is a lot of dead cataphracts to those Eagle Warriors. I mean, when you're just outnumbered that heavily, it doesn't matter if your unit counters the other. Still, though... There is a nice little core of hand cannoneers behind that definitely makes the uh, the halberdiers a little bit trickier. Oh, uh, the rams are tanking the hand cannon fire, but the cavalier numbers are excellent here for Rory. Eagle's going to try and come into a uh, raid at this point, though. What are the cataphract numbers? Like, 35 military for Ukoke? That's not too great. And castle down! Well, it will be. There we go. Three magic trebs, even Hera's building HP upgrades couldn't save him. Like, in all seriousness, Hera is one of the best players at consistently getting building HP upgrades. It makes me so happy. Also fully upgraded Hussars, too, even with uh, Silk Armor. Eagles still hanging around here. A Bombard Tower now here from Rory. Remember, guys, Tadars, the only step Nomad Civ in the game to get Bombard Towers. I didn't see the finals. And this is what they look like, guys. This is what the Central Asian Bombard Tower looks like. I bet you've never seen it before.
the famous bombard <laughs> hours of Tatars. What the hell? Hello, Leary. Leary has entered the game, guys. Player two has entered the lobby. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, those hells are gonna get absolutely massacred by the hand cannons. More and more eagles coming in here from Slack Tarn. And like, there's so many anti eagle things here for Rain Bay, it's just numbers. The Eagle Warriors are so cheap and easy to replenish. Yeah, I feel like that too, Nerfox. I feel like that. No, Slacktarn has been playing really well this entire tournament. The Elephant Archer and Ballista Elephant from the Forests of Cambodia. Something like that. Hard is taking water too. He's got some fast fire ships here. Very, very speedy fast fire ships. Yeah, doing a really nice job of doing that, actually. I mean, Ukoke is having to put so much emphasis on uh, these cataphracts, which are, I think, fully upgraded now. Okay, with Elite Cataphract able to be researched, and then probably Logistica, too. I think Logistica is in. Um, that's going to be pretty hard to deal with. There are some Arbalests here for Slack Turn. But that's still going to be really tricky. Also, how do you deal with, like, you know, 60 elite Ballista Elephants? Like, Ballista Elephants are the, like, the worst unique unit in the game, in my opinion. Like, no contest. But if you have 60 of them with full upgrades, like, I mean... That's a lot of Ballista Elephants. That's a lot of Elite Cataphracts, though. I mean, this game has had Elephant Archers, Elite Cataphracts, and Ballista Elephants. What more do you guys want? I'm sorry, Stuart. I'm but a simple American. Like, that's a lot of Elite Cataphracts. You know what? Walls don't help with Ballista Elephants. Well, it's like that with a lot of stuff, Hecturnus. Like, you can't tell easily if Chieftains has been researched. Um... And there's some other ones. Look at those walls, man. Thumb ring is definitely kind of annoying. Where'd the catas go? Oh, here they are. Demon Chief's trying to get these walls in as best he can. But, like, the overall score difference is, I think, insanely huge. Well, I mean, it is insanely huge, it's not really a matter of thinking. And Sora just doesn't really have a lot on this side. And yeah, now that Leary's entered the party with these Ballista Elephants, Heart's taken control now, has some elite cannon galleons bombarding these castles. I, I think that this really is uh, getting pretty truly over. But uh, what a game, man. Again, it looks like Naked Men is going to win, but... Rain Bay giving them one hell of a run for their money. And yeah, it is pretty much GG Ukoke. I know it feels bad to, you know, say it's time to GG when you have 54 fully upgraded elite cataphracts, but uh, alas, that does not stop 60 plus fully upgraded elite ballista elephants. Yeah, look how, look how awful Ballista Elephants are, man. Definitely worse than Elephant Archers, in my opinion. 
That's why I like this tournament. That's what this tournament is here for. Where button the OBNC, indeed. You know, my goal with this tournament is to give people a competitive tournament experience that they would not... Like, the, the level of games and just the types of games that you wouldn't find other places. And right now, that's, yes, that's delivering. You just want to have memes? I do want to have memes, because memes are fun. Uh, but also, I do... I wanted to give people a genuinely different experience. Yeah, yeah there is a GG. Maybe, maybe, Dankest. But yeah, obviously, Leary coming online was just a little too much for... Rain Bay to handle. Leary with around double the, uh, the KD. But honestly, like, everyone in the game did some really important c contributions at certain points. Thinkst. Thinkst. I don't know, there's too many consonants together, man. It's four consonants together. <laughs> 